Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining T. Eris Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. <laughs> this video will be for all my beautiful and my handsome Leos out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a gentle reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that does resonate so what doesn't leave no out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future. And to be aware of any scammers in the comment section pretending to be your girl. Y'all, it's early as hell, so please don't mind me, okay? I literally woke up, you know, brush my teeth. <laughs> So that I could go ahead and do you guys' reading. Yesterday I went and got me some rest or what have you. But anyway, so Leo. So the first card that came out was six, the number 6363. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of sixes, a lot of threes, or what have you. It's talking about cultivate. Cultivate positive attitudes, solutions, and inspire. So Leo, okay, within this uh, month of October... I see that you're going to be having a very positive attitude moving forward, okay? Handling, you know, handling problems, figuring out solutions, okay? And also inspiring people throughout this month is what I'm getting here, Leo. So it says to cultivate a positive attitude towards life. Look for the good in every situation and focus on solutions rather than problems, exactly. Okay, surround yourself with positive people who inspire and uplift you. So that's what you're doing in the month of October, Leo. Okay, you're finding solutions instead of problems okay you're surrounding yourself about you know around people that you feel like you know are positive and they can inspire you you don't want to be around nobody that's like a debbie downer that has stank attitudes that's always complaining okay or what have you you just want to stay in this positive ass mindset and you'd rather be around people like that too okay it's what i'm getting so it sounds like to me leo it's like you ain't really dealing with too many people okay okay maybe people look to you leo for their problems they, they look to you to handle their you know their issues or whatever have you and you are always the one to probably you know um find a solution to their problems okay for some of y'all whether that be giving them advice whether that be helping them out you know financially or what have you it's like you cutting all that shit off okay and focusing on yourself within this um you know month of october is what i'm getting here okay so let's see what's going on i'm gonna go ahead and pull for my neon deck this is a new deck so hold on y'all gotta take this stuff out okay <laughs> What's going on for the month of October for Leos? Holy Spirit, Ancestor, Sphere, guys. The highest of light. What's going on for Leos? What is going on for my Leos? Give me one card. Oh, we got here Career. Okay, that talks about the LG, LGBTQ community, okay? I don't know, Leo, maybe you could be a part of the LGBTQ community is what I'm getting here, okay? Or there's someone that's in the LGBTQ community, okay? And probably an important aspect of your life within a uh, month of October or some of y'all, you may be dealing with somebody like this or this is you, okay? Maybe you're feeling comfortable in your skin, okay, or something like that. All right, or you may be supporting somebody that is a part of the LGBTQ community. Maybe you got a, you know, a friend or what have you that you could that's queer that you could be helping out. Wow. Okay, put a word Facebooky. Let's see what else. What's queer? What else for the Leo spirit? <clears throat> I need to get my coffee this morning, y'all. Oh, Lord. So, y'all have to excuse me because, Leo's, you are the first video. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, we got here loser. So, Leo, there's someone here that's a loser. Okay, it says, I forgot my wallet. Wow. So, for example, Leo, if you are going out with somebody on a date or what have you, okay, are you meeting somebody new, Leo, and they say they forgot their wallet or something of that nature or whoever this person is, it's like they're a liar. They just want to spend your money is what I'm getting. This is somebody that's acting like they didn't got no funds. They forgot their wallet and they expect for you to pay the bill or something like that. So, be mindful of that in the month of October. Yeah, we got here red flag. Okay, so somebody definitely will, will be showing signs of a red flag around you. Okay, so be mindful of that. It says you promise yourself you will never date someone like me again. Ooh, be careful, Leo. If you are just now dating, okay, or you meet somebody new, because it could be in the LGBTQ community, okay? Um, if you're not down with that, 
All right. Um, just to let you know. All right. Yeah, we got here unstable. It says, I'll be honest, I'm kind of a mess. So this person is a kind of a mess, but they don't want to tell you that. Okay. Whoever this individual is. Then we got here a catch. Go. I'm everything that you've been looking for. So for some of y'all, I don't know if you have many options or choices here, Leo, but um, somebody here is a no and somebody else is a go. Okay, so there could be somebody that is queer and there could be another person that is a, a catch or a go. So yeah, in the month of October, okay, is what I'm getting here. Let me see, let me get that card out. So just be mindful of that, Leo, okay? Somebody gonna try, this is crazy, because if you if you dating somebody and you don't know they are part of the rainbow community, and they try to play you and get a free meal out of you or something like that. I don't know. This is crazy. Or there's someone from your past that could be now with the with the rainbow. Okay, is so what I'm getting here. And um, you know, this person, I don't know. I just know it says stop in every single one of these cars. Like, uh uh, Leo. Hell no. Nah. Okay, they're telling you no. All right. Yes, yeah, somebody's queer or something. Lord, hammer. So what's going on? What's queer? Spirit was queer. We got here a King of Pentacles in the Tower. Ooh. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn masculine. Okay. That you couldn't be breaking it off with. Okay. Uh, could be a Pisces for some of y'all. But yeah, you could be letting things go with this individual or you're about to because you're about to find out some type of news here about this person or you feel like this person is definitely, you know, giving you bad vibes. It's like there's so many red flags. It's like, damn, you ain't got this. You ain't got that. What's really going on? Like, why? You ain't got your wallet? What happened? Oh, over, you know, something here. Okay. Like, I don't know. This is crazy. Or for some of y'all, there could be a career that it's wanting to tear down your business. That's for some of y'all with the king of... Ooh, uh-oh. Ooh, yeah, they mad. Them, them cars flipped, y'all. Wow. I, I can't, Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Red flags. Unstable. They all just... I accidentally hit the cars, and they all just came flying up and fell into the table. So, yeah, this person is a loser. Whoever this, this earth sign is could be a loser, okay? Yeah, it's like they're always unstable and unbalanced. So, for some of y'all, just be careful, okay? Yeah. And this is somebody that's trying to give you some type of an offer. Whether that be a friendship, partnership, something. Okay, but this person seems to be a user because they're unstable, okay? They're a mess right now. So, yeah, oh, wow. And on top of that, with the five of wands, this person is in some type of competition with you, okay? Is what I'm getting here. They're in some type of competition with you, Leo. They're jealous of you. So, this is a, a queer man or, yeah, what have you, that's jealous of a female Leo, okay? This is a competition with a Leo. Wow. Emperor could be an Aries or like maybe a father figure or somebody that's an authority, okay, figure or something of that nature or maybe an influencer, okay, that's jealous of you here, Leo. Yeah, what's the emperor? Or for some of y'all, yeah, baby daddy could be queer now. They could be in the LGBTQ community now. Wow. Lee, I don't know if you know this or you did or whatever. I don't know. What's going on for Leo? Ooh, child. We got the king of wands. So, <laughs> that's fire energy. It could be not the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, Okay. This is somebody that could be some type of influence or have influence other people. Okay, it's what I'm getting. This definitely is an Aries. Okay, yeah, we got here the Eight of Swords. This person is trapped in some type of an illusion. Okay, or like a mindset here. Yeah, that they want to end something. They want to transform. They want to resurrect. They want to, but you, mm-mm. Yeah, Five of Cups. Death, okay, star, Aquarius, Scorpio energy, okay. Yeah, nine of wands. Somebody is kind of feeling bad, Leo, because you could be a healer. And um, somebody could be upset because they tried to stunt your um, transformation and your growth with the death card here. Okay, somebody here wanted you um, having your guard up with the Nine of Wands, wanted you always to be defensive or always, you get what I'm saying? Like, somebody here always wanted you to be defensive, okay, against people or what have you. Like, this is somebody that trusts, I'm surprised the devil ain't come out of here, but um, 
This is somebody that wants you in your defenses. That's why we're talking about years with the number 6363. It's like you're letting that all go. It's like you're more focused on having a positive, you know, attitude moving forward. Okay. You're looking for, you're looking for good in every situation, whether it's bad or good. You're looking for the good. Okay. That's how you are anyway, Leo. Okay. It's like you try to look in the good of other people. Okay. But it's whoever this person is. It's like, nah, Leo, you putting this person in a place. Okay. You're not offering them any more solutions to their motherfucking problems. Is what I'm getting here, Leo. You will not be that person anymore for whoever this person is. Yeah, and this person is crazy because they are targeting you with the two of um, swords here. Especially your work. Whatever it is that you do for work. Okay? Somebody trying to stagnate your work or what have you, delay you in some type of way, okay? Because they're upset that you don't want to deal with them now because, I don't know, like I said, even if you are a part of the LGBT whatever Q community, that's what you do, okay? But, um, Leo, I don't know if you deal with that or not. Uh, for some of y'all, you don't. And with that being said, it's like, mm -mm, how is a man going to try to come into back into your life, offer you nothing but crumbs because they don't, they're not stable in life right now? And on top of that, they, they like... I'm getting, I'm here polyamorous, okay? Like, they like, you know, the same or opposite. I got this in my collective reading as well, but but they could be queer, okay? They probably just not your type. Or for some of y'all, it's like, um, I don't know, maybe they act feminine. And you just not with that, Leo. Because to be honest with you, whether you're a feminine or a masculine, Leo, baby, okay? You are the ruler, the king of the jungle, which, which being said is you lead, Okay, you lead. And for women, it's like some of us women, we operate in masculine energy because we are the kings of the jungle, even though we're queens. You get what I'm saying? But we know how to operate in our masculine energy when it comes to getting that bag. So with that being said, it's like, Leo, you don't need somebody more feminine than you. If you are fe if you're a feminine woman, okay, you don't need somebody feminine than you. Mm -mm. You don't need to be, nah, hell nah. You don't need to be paying no man's bills. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that you're just dating or somebody that want to come back into your life. No. Okay. But yeah, Leo, you're too strong for that. And you, mm -mm, mm -mm. We got here catch. What's the goal then, spirit? What's the goal? Maybe you're online or something like that. Okay. And you know how they got that swipe left, swipe, swipe right. I don't know. I've been out of the dating field for a while. Okay. Um, so I don't fucking know. Yeah, but we got here. Uh, it's a go. So glad you took the chance to put yourself out there so I can find you. Wow. So this is somebody new. This is Nora Energy Leo. Who's this? Who's this catch for Leo? Who did Leo swipe right to? Okay. Oh, wow. We got the Ten of Cups. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Water Energy. Okay. Some Oh, somebody that you feel like is a, is a wish fulfillment. It's what I'm getting. Somebody that you can build a home and a foundation with. Okay. Equal, give and take, or what have you. Okay. Mutual respect and shit is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yeah, you you feel like this situation has potential with the Page of Pentacles, whatever this new situation is, okay? Yeah, ooh, Ace of Cups, yeah, Leo, I see you, boo. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go over here, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Oh, it's what I'm getting here. Some of y'all like, I already found me a match, okay? I'm going to go over here, I'm going to swipe to the right. Okay, you swipe to the left, I'm going to swipe to the right, to the right, mm -hmm. Okay, topic energy like no. No, you're not looking to be paying nobody's bills or you know. And if they, they have a sexual preference, you know what I'm saying? I don't think you're down with that, Leo. Okay, I don't think you're down with that. That's what I'm getting here. But yeah. So let me see. Let me get one. Your significant other is sending you negativity. Oh shit. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, this is an option of yours, okay? Somebody, so now you got this other person sending you negativity, boo. Okay, because they're upset because maybe you're moving on, you're dating other people, what have you. It says, get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. Some of you need to get a, green, a dream catcher here because somebody definitely is sending you negativity, especially when you're asleep, okay? It's what I'm getting, mm-hmm. Yeah, this person is also spreading rumors about you. Like, that's how you know, Leo. Altering your vials and mores on life make um life making decisions. So, ooh. Somebody here know you're not down with certain things, if you get what I'm saying. And they're trying to alter that through magic or witchcraft or whatever like that, okay? 
All right, I'm talking about dark magic, dark witchcraft. All right, that's what they're doing. That's what they're trying to do. Whoever this uh, person is, it's a part of the LGBTQ community. Okay, whoever the queer is or whatever like that. Okay, so just be mindful of that is what they're saying. You may need, I already got me a dream catcher, so I ain't worried about it. You feel me? So shit. <laughs> been had me a dream catcher for years. So some guy need to go get that bookie, okay? Anything else for the Leo spirit? Come on now, Leo. You're just standing in your power. Some of y'all are going to stay in solitude at this time. Stay to yourself. Mind your business, okay? Get, get, you know, keep on creating is what you're looking forward to. Once again, it's like you're taming the beast within. You see how this lion is so, like, humble, okay? Relaxed and cool. And you see how there's a storm brewing in the back, okay? It's like, yeah, you're leaving it behind and you're going forward. You do not give a damn. And somebody knows that. Yeah, somebody wants to push your boundaries. It says, I'm going to push your boundaries. And it's up to you if you let me wow so this is somebody that wants to push your boundaries Leo on purpose they want to push your boundaries on purpose there we go because they're upset Leo that you don't want nothing to do with them okay whoever this queer is they expected to come in play you get get a uh, free something out of you okay but no that's not happening so it's like they're talking shit about you that's how you know they're in that community as well because why is this man talking about you? If, to be honest with you, if it's your, I don't know. I don't know why this baby daddy keep popping out. But, yeah, he definitely keeps popping out in these readings here, okay? But don't let nobody push your boundaries, Leo, okay, within this month of October. Don't let nobody push your boundaries. Continue to do you. Stay in a positive-ass attitude. And, you know, just thrive within this month of October, period, okay? Well, yeah, I would love you guys so freaking much. Okay, excuse the just waking up, okay, energy or what have you. But I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all need anything else from me, look in the description box below. Bye, or check out my TikTok account.